Good day, everybody. Welcome back to the Marvel Contest of Champions new show. Battlegrounds rank scandal? Or is it? We investigate the Kabam not banning modder situation in that particular mode. What's happening with the Forge to Fight compensation? Nick Koss and another amazing what if? And what is happening with the Thronebreaker stamps for those that spend? Hello everybody, hope you're doing well. Welcome back to the show and MCN for Monday. Now there's a lot of stuff that dropped over the weekend, a lot of things that I really wanted to cover, but um, we've been working on stuff with the house, so I haven't really had time. But this week, we're going to try and get back into some of those topics, including the MCN today. So let's delve into some of these important things for the community. This will, of course, include lots to do with the side quest. I really am enjoying it. I know some people aren't, but I, I, I am, and I've got some really kind of cool ideas, videos, and things like that. But before we go anywhere, hit the like button, subscribe with post notifications on all. Help support the channel, especially subscribe. Let's try and get to 70k by the end of the year. And we start the show with an amazing Nick Cost video so it's really cool to see when a Nick cost video comes out even more so when it's got the likes of this zombie Iron Man right I love the fact that we can see this like I, I really would like Kabam to do a zombie type event just because it would be really really sick but you know just seeing the what Nick does gives me this hope that one day we could see it especially because it's like it's just Zombie Iron Man just doing badass things. Make sure to support Nick Koss's work in the link in the description down below. Go and like and subscribe. And now let's move on to stamps. What well, stamps? I'm still trying to get my head around stamps as well. This is something that if you spend in the game, then you'll know exactly what this is all about. I stopped spending in the game in December 2021, and I do not plan to spend any more any further or again at this particular stage. You have to be an something magical or something ridiculous that would kind of entice me to spend but um, always very interesting to know if there's anything going wrong with spending and one of those particular things is Thronebreaker stamp card selector so as said here by this player these selectors disappeared from the featured store and have been replaced with paragon stamp card selector please bring back the Thronebreaker stamp card selector in the store I still have 16 stamps to spend someone else says I'm unable to claim paragon stamp collection from the featured items and also un uh, unable to claim Paragon stamps. It says I have zero when I should have around 10 to 12. Just bought one and it still says zero. We'll never buy one of these again. And I'm unable to claim the Paragon selector. So there could be something of a bug with this one. And yeah, like Kabam will probably answer against this. If it's like this all kind of like start going a bit skewy around about March 12th uh, or kind of March 11th and something like that, then that's the weekend. Um, will Kabam be interested to deal with this on a Monday of course they will be because uh, it, it does involve people spending money within the game although they haven't really so, well, to be honest it doesn't really matter if you spend or not that, that, to, there's some instances that don't really get dealt with but in any case that seems to be an issue and we'll have to see whether or not Kabama answer against it especially if uh, multiple people are saying that hey we've got a problem when it comes to collecting these particular stamps and now we turn our attention to compensation. Yes, compensation. Uh, <laughs> all the titles now, all the thumbnail compensation. No, um, this is um, it's all about the, the Transformers Forge to Fight compensation. It's been a very weird time. If you remember recently, like back on February 28th, Command Mike said we were working on getting this out to as soon as possible, but we've hit a snag with one of our partners that we need to resolve before moving forward. I do not have an ETA on this right now. I will update you all when we have uh, more information, but I am not expecting to hear anything before next week at the earliest. So, uh, it's, well, March 9th, March 10th, March 11th, and today March, not March 12th, but March 13th, yes. And still nothing has been heard. A lot of people are kind of like, not jumping to conclusions, but forming their own lines of investigation into all of this as to like what is, what's going down. And whether or not there's something of imagery, rights to Hasbro's based products or visuals that want to go over into Marvel Contest of Champions, which could be causing the issue. Not to say there is, or not to say there isn't, but it is very kind of like interesting to note that people are having that line of, um, well, again, not assumption, but like uh, investigation. Um, like here, like as as this particular player, like someone that says, sounds like Hold Up is one of the partners, Hasbro, or maybe Japan, uh, uh, Japan company, um, Takara Tommy, Pokemon, blah, 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 blah. 
you know, it could be the case that there is something they want to put in like a profile picture that has something, I don't know, like the arm of Optimus Prime. And then it's kind of like that could be causing an issue. But in any case, I would say that would be a very bad idea to do. I mean, Kabam could get away with kind of making a robotic arm um, or at least kind of doing, I don't know, like um, pieces of a transformer without having to go like, is this a piece? This is a piece of a transformer. Um, I'm sure there's ways they could go about it, even like using some kind of like truck. Um, yes, it would be kind of like it, it's difficult. I mean, it's very it would be a very tough sell to go. Hey, by the way, we want to put an Autobot and a Decepticon image or kind of profile picture in like in Marvel Contest of Champions. That is very very difficult to do. Uh, I I don't know why. I if I was Kabam, I would just go. Do you know what? They've waited long enough for this compensation, right? And we know we're going to hit a snag. We're going to the likes of Hasbro, any kind of like company. Just don't do it. Just don't do it. Like, why Why would you hassle yourself like that? I know it's kind of good for a quintessential thing about like in honoring the game that went. But, you know, we're now at a stage where there's people going like, well, you know, where's, where is it? Um... <laughs> But someone's saying here, not going to lie, if an Optimus Prime profile picture is on the table, well worth the wait, that would be um, awesome to see. Maybe it would, maybe it wouldn't. Abs I absolutely do not care about profile pics, and that's what's holding it up, Make it makes it even more frustrating. So again, diff and there's a difference of opinions with like um, with all these, all these stuff. So, um, there you go. No answer just yet from Kabam. Maybe. We'll get it this week. Maybe we won't. We'll have to. We'll have to see. And now we're going to move on to our big story. Now we're going to be dissecting a very hot topic at the moment, which is Kabam not following up on banning those that have been modding within top 200, top 1,000 modding in general. Not getting those bans off for those particular players. Those particular players getting rewards for where they finished, and uh, other things like that. This is a bit of a big topic. So yes, learn to investigate. Yes, yes, they are banning accounts. If you go to Kaban Porthos and Kaban Valkyrie and have a look at some of, and this is the, the, the it's so funny because then there's there's people silly enough to go to the forums to say, hey, I've been banned, which what they do, they give away their, um, you know, the fact that they are, you know, doing the modding and stuff. So it's good in some ways because then what you can do is track that Kaban are banning because people are coming to the forums to say, hey, I've been banned. A lot of the time when you look at the dates, they do correlate with stuff that would kind of go with Battlegrounds, but, uh, and that would be when they've done a, a command ban wave for that particular day or that particular week to go, boom, flush through the system and take some of these people out. The part two to this is how it affects the leaderboards. And the fact is, if it goes into Gladiator Circuit, a lot of those leaderboards are not updated immediately. This is something we're gonna come back to in a moment as to like the immediate effect. But there is the same problem, like, if you remember arena results in the past, there were modders, cheaters, hackers, whatever, and those particular people that were then banned as a result, or they were getting positions within the leaderboard in arena, you didn't get upgraded the position. So, if the cheater had position 30 and you were 31, you would not go up one position. And those particular people that watch the channel will be familiar with a video that I put out called Massive Arena Compensation, I think it was some point last year, which basically reunited players with positions that they had lost as a result, upgrading them the particular arena champion that they had been uh, deprived of, which is and, and was completely mega. Now technically this is irrelevant for this particular situation, but it is relevant because Kabam have not done the same thing for players. How and why is that the case? Well, you know, this particular thread is a good kind of like uh, showcase of that. Because even of like early last month, people were asking the questions, I got rewards for the exact position I was when uh, BG finished. Does that mean that nobody was banned or that some were banned and ranks remain the same after the bans? And again, to go further on this, this particular player said about uh, last season that I took a screenshot at the moment and the rank was 991, but finally I got 996. Yes, I refreshed the game before talking, um, taking the screenshot and I refuse to believe that there aren't at least 25 to 30 hackers in the top 900 ranks. Maybe Kabam can't get all of them, but they should have got at least a few like at least five to 10, 
what even is the point of delayed rewards if apparently no actions are being taken and magic penton when it's been like this during all the betas after every season i'm not sure why anyone is surprised at this point uh, they have definitely done a, a better job banning modders recently but they still haven't been able to figure out how to adjust the rewards properly now all of that may just be incorrect now here's the thing we've got to have a look at like what kabam are saying in response to all of this but also how they are actually dealing with the system is the system picking up people correctly are the people falling through the cracks is the leaderboard not properly up updating is it a case as we said with what we've just covered in that little section kabam aren't kind of like okay someone modded here so therefore they drop down or drop out and then somebody goes up into that position you know it, what, what is happening so Command Mike says, I don't usually do this, but if you have players that you think obvious modders in the top spots, please DM their names to me and I will take a look. No movement in the top ranks at the end of the season means that our checks and balance balances throughout the season are working well, or once again, cheaters have improved the way in which they are cheating and we need to find out how and adapt our methods to find them. So that could be something of an extra issue that, you know, people, cheaters are going to cheat, but also have found a better way to cheat. Also, not sure with the rumors of modder bounty hunter. I don't know what it is. We have an engineer whose job is to improve our anti cheat detection and others that manually check, but they have to know what they are looking for. As modders improve their cheating methods, we have to evolve our methods of detection and what we're doing for. They're looking for. The reason that this is brought up and is more of a contentious issue is that there is somebody that was in the top three three that uh, is a little bit sus now here's the thing it's not my position to point accusations at people but the thing is there is evidence out there to kind of showcase that that particular person is very sus even more sussy because after this particular thread had gone out that and one particular player had been mentioned and whether or not that was someone that was dm'd to kabam mike himself this particular person as of recording this video, has not been on their account for over two days. Which you can see right here on screen. As you can see, they haven't logged it. It's probably going to come up to three days, which does correlate with this particular forum thread. And yeah, I'm not going to name the alliance, and I'm certainly not going to name the person, because it's unfair on the alliance. The alliance may not know that this particular person has been cheating. Um, if indeed that is the case, I don't know 100% one way, I don't know 100% the other. It's just very weirdly coincidental that this particular person hasn't logged in for the length of time that they have. The word that we need to come back to with this whole kind of situation is trust. As players, we trust, or you know, we like to trust in the developer to produce a game that is fair for everybody, and especially fair when it comes to dealing with situations like this, especially in a PvPVE mode that has all of these key elements of people losing, especially at a high level, where they shouldn't do if the people were cheating, and also were punished for that particular cheating. Now, look, there's other stuff to this, like Kabam Jack said that we've banned over a thousand players throughout the season, which is which is true, by the way. If you've seen some of the stuff, as I said, if you follow Kabam Porthos, Valkyrie, Kabam Zanzibar, a lot of these players seem to come out of the woodwork to say, I've been banned. And also, they always seem to be doing it around the same time as a banned wave that has gone out. And more sweep through the leaderboards, which is the problem that we have with this element of trust. Are Kabam actually doing this? And, and after the season ended, resulting in more bans, which we might have seen with this particular scenario and evidence that we brought to the table in that last kind of little uh, bit. Uh, and also Mike uh, allowed for his DMs and stuff. Um, the accounting qu question uh, is well into Act 8 story content, which um, it that's the that's the thing with it if they're referring to the one that we've mentioned then if you do check out that then you will note that, that particular um that there's there's kind of like a bone of contention with that one but as we said that particular account has not been active in um, x amount of days which does correlate with this particular time frame and timeline and where i want to bring this particular coverage of this topic is back to that word trust right it is difficult to trust in kabam and as well these particular situations as more work needs to be done but more work needs to be done with the uh, the anti-cheat the the way that the engineers kind of looking to like tackle these particular people are cheaters going to get better when it comes to getting around these systems yes is this going to be a problem for the ongoing eco space of the game yes but 
there's other ways of how you deal with those. You uh, discourage those particular cheaters by limiting the rewards that they get. And if you have got these particular players that have kind of, they've, they spoof the system, they've got through, they've only got a seven day ban and they still keep their rewards, then that needs to be dealt with. So will those people, and that's, the, that's gonna be the question, will those players be able to keep their rewards? I hope not. If they are, then we have a bigger problem. But that's what you can do in the first instance is go, look, if they were caught cheating, then it's a case that they rip away those rewards. Is it a case can now have the technology to upgrade those people that were lost that as a result of those particular lost positions better rewards no they do not have that that's not doesn't seem to be there at the moment but something like that arena system of the past does need to be worked in in some sort of shape or form and again as i said for example this is what i'm referring to not let everyone get six stars but the point i was i'm getting to is that retrospectively people should be upgraded for what they lost out for um at certain points now would that is that going to be difficult for command of course it is but again it's all about fairly acknowledging that if this system is not picking up correctly and as well people that are not going to get permanent bans which they should do or at least get those um, rewards stripped for them. You know, something needs to be done and something needs to be done quickly because it's, a, as we've all said, you know, Battlegrounds is a great game mode, but it is going to lose people's interest, especially if it's not going to be rewarded correctly, fairly made, and also stability when it comes to all these bugs and problems that we've seen in previous seasons. Um, and I am a little bit surprised to note that there wasn't anything in the Battlegrounds changelog that uh, said about any of the bugs being addressed. But I guess this is all about me kind of looking at the Trello board and hoping that that gets more, up, uh, more frequently updated so we can at least as players have a bit more faith and trust because that's the code word of today's video, uh, that uh, this will be dealt with. And that's been it. That's been a deep dive of that. We need to finish with arena predictions and results. Although, we've only had uh, a couple. Um, yeah, so 19.2 uh, mil, rank 217, rank 302, 15.1 mil. So um, I, I won't be doing any predictions. And Shah says, worst arena. That's, that's, yeah. And we end the video as we normally do by saying a massive thank you to those that support the channel as a YouTube member and as a Patreon. You're on screen right now. Thank you so much for that love and support. Also, those that support on twitch.tv slash richthemanlive. Hopefully going to be live streaming today. If not, um, it will be on a YouTube one. But make sure to renew your Prime sub. And uh, I'll see you in the next uh, next uh, stream and stuff. And finally, check out some other content which we located on screen. Lots more videos to post this week. Really looking forward to getting my teeth stuck into some meaty content. Um, yeah, lots of ideas, lots of plans, lots of fun. Cannot wait. Looking forward to it. Cheers, everybody, and see you later on. Bye-bye.